um, basically it was like a friend of a friend, he's a lawyer and uh, he was the lawyer of the former lawyer of them because now in the movie there's another lawyer, a female lawyer. Um, and um, he had like several cases like their case, like um, yeah, um, binational couples in Germany who uh, were not able uh, to marry due to the uh, to the law to the to the law. And uh, he was proposing to me to um, to do a documentary about this topic and um, yeah, he introduced me to um, to yeah, basically he gave me the um, telephone numbers of uh, two couples. And yeah, I was talking to them and then I met um, Anna and Seyu and yeah, there was like immediately a nice atmosphere and they, I mean, agreed to, to, to do the movie with me and uh, yeah, then it all started. Um, yeah, because in Germany there is a law which, uh, yeah, as I know, it's quite unique in, German, uh, in Europe that um, if you are an asylum seeker or yeah you don't have um, yeah yeah I mean it's or re for re refugees it's uh, sometimes it's also like this but in any case for pro asylum seekers so if you live in Germany they tell you where to live and then yeah they send you to this asylum seeker center and um, then you are you there's no uh, freedom of movement basically so you have to um, stay in the region they choose for you and yeah so in this case say we had to stay in um, in the region of Baden-Württemberg which is in the south of Germany and um, every time you wanted to visit Anna she had to um, yeah to um, apply for permission at the um, immigration office and uh, yeah that was the only possibility for him to leave the region like legally um, yeah, but it's not really freedom of movement because if they, if when he got the permission, it was only for Berlin, so he couldn't like, I don't know. Usually he got the permission for one month, but then in this month he he just stayed in Berlin, so they couldn't decide. I don't know to go for a weekend to Brandenburg, which is the region around Berlin, like. 20 kilometers, so mm, so that was not really um, freedom of movement, and yeah, so usually it was for for one month, but only because um, uh, the uh, immigration office knew Anna and she introduced herself to them, so that made it like easy for them. But for um, uh, for an average or for a, yeah for, for 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 other asylum seekers, it's not possible to um, to get this permission. Um. But, but even I didn't really know that it's so um, uh, that, for example, we as a Germans, we as white Germans, we never, you never get controlled on your passport. If you take a train or bus, never ever, nobody wants to see your passport. But um, if you are a guy from Africa or Arab country, you might get controlled on every train ride you do. So. Um, it is really dangerous for them to leave um, the place where they have to stay. And um, I didn't know that you get controlled that often. So. Um, well, first of all, it doesn't need to be necessarily in a small village. Say you had kind of bad luck, he could have ended in his asylum home in Hamburg, for example, which would have been much better because it's a big city. Um, in this small village, it's I mean, it's not even in a small village, it's like behind the railway tracks and um, outside of the village and you, it's kind of impossible to have contact to like normal neighbors or something. You're, you definitely feel like um, that you've been put away behind the railway tracks that nobody should see you um, and yes it's uh, it was winter it is um, kind of open uh, if it snows they have uh, not snow in the room but snow in the hallway and it's um, 
it is like a prison, kind of. Well, everybody was friendly in a way, but some people didn't want to get filmed, which is okay for sure. And um, but with his friends or colleagues from Gambia, um, it was very nice. Yeah, we, they took us like friends. Like uh, a year ago or something? Yeah, yeah, a, year, think, yeah. a year ago, maybe 20 asylum seekers, mostly from Afghanistan, I think, um, started uh, to do a rally from southern Germany by foot to Berlin. And um, uh, to um, English. <laughs> Yeah, basically they, they were deciding to break the law so and they didn't want to hide like like everybody every like in yeah honestly in the asylum center everybody does it because nobody wants to stay like in this restricted area for a long period so um, usually people do it but they try not to get catch, uh, caught of course but uh, in this case they uh, yeah they decided to break the law and they did it in public so just to yeah as a demonstration that um, this law is not right and it's against human rights and stuff like this so they traveled all over Germany and the last um, yeah the last place they went to was Berlin and yeah, they created a, a camp in in the in the city, um, and now they are living in tents. Like they stayed there the whole winter, which was really rough, I think. And they are still there asking for this. Uh, yeah, it's called this law. It's called Residenzlicht to be abolished finally. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's. It doesn't seem like politicians are interested in this. They just leave them there and don't arrest them, but uh, they don't really change anything. No. Yeah, it's so right now they are living together in Berlin in the same flat, I mean in Anna's flat, and uh, yeah, just living a normal life. I mean now since he, since um, they are married, um, he, he got a working permit so he can finally he can uh, earn his own money. And yeah, um, just yeah, everything like quite an yeah quite a normal life. I mean, they went to Africa together this year for three months, so in order that she could meet his family and yeah. Mm, yeah, I mean it's yeah it's a little bit like I mean Patrick was talking about it that the um, about the situation in the asylum center and for me it was like. Yeah, I think it was an important experience because, I mean, of course, we all know that the situation in the asylum centers, it's, yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a real mess, but, um, um, I mean, we stayed there just for two days, but I, in a way, I experienced, like, um, yeah, what it means to, um, yeah, to stay away from the we from the rest of the society, or from if you don't have like any possibility to uh, participate in the in the social life. So I mean, I, I didn't experience it, but I was like closer to them than yeah than ever before in my life, and um, yeah, I, I I think I I realized a little bit more what it means to to them. I guess right now the biggest topic is um, that many people come from Romania and Bulgaria and there's a big discussion about that this costs too much money to the German um, society and um, right now I guess it's the biggest uh, issue because um, there are not so many people coming actually from Africa or Asia they don't even they can't even enter so um, the biggest issue right now is about poor European people coming and that's what uh, politicians and the, uh, the public is kind of afraid of much more than any 